industry, half the professional beauty industry, and we're not asking anybody to raise their hand, half the professional beauty industry is over the age of 35. The half that's over the age of 35 in our industry in America is generally in trouble. We're hurting. We've got carpal tunnel issues. We've got shoulder problems. We've got sore backs, bad knees, ankle challenges. We've got obesity, diabetes. We've got an industry that believes that lunch is fast food eaten in a dispensary while mixing hair color. That is not sustainable long term. We've got a little bit of stress in our business. I tell people all the time, cutting hair is absolutely the best job in the world. Until it's not. And then it sucks. These people will make you crazy, won't they? Yeah. We have a little workshop thing we do. We won't have time to do it today, but where we just kind of sit around. I, I, I've done a couple of these hairstylist cruises lately. I got another one coming up in February. And one of the things we do, we have deck chair chats where we get out late at night and sit on the deck. Everybody brings their drinks and we sit around. And every night we talk about something else. One night we talk about education. One night we talk about tools and equipment. Well, Thursday night typically on these cruises is challenging client night yes. where we share our stories about the people that make us absolutely nuts and we'll talk a little bit about that today we won't all share our stories if one of you has an exceptional story that you need to share as a form of therapy we may allow you the time to do that it might be good for everybody in the room to hear that you know you think your client sucks hers is worse okay but yeah we've got some stress we've got some pain we've got some challenges and by the way the other half of the industry is under the age of 35 the folks in that group, they're young, and they're healthy, and they think they're going to live forever. And they're wrong. Our industry is going to hurt you. This is going to take its toll over time. It's harder to connect with that group because they don't believe us. And that's why in a group setting like this, there's a few of us, and I'm in the over 35 group, who are willing to raise their hand and go, let me tell you about this. All right? And there's a few in the under 35 group who are attending here today who maybe this will provide some insight they can proactively get out in front of some of these challenges. So this is the problem, and of course, there are some solutions. The solutions are we want to get healthy, wealthy, and wise. I've divided up the conversations that I share in this category into healthy, wealthy, and wise. Healthy is the physical stuff. What are the things we can do with our body parts behind the chair every day to ensure, support, long-term healthy career success? Wealthy is where we talk about our financial health because we have lots of people in our business who earn a great deal of money and don't plan for the future. Our industry traditionally doesn't have employers that provide formal retirement programming. Opportunities to think about this. Tips. A lot of times people think of tips as beer, cigarettes, gasoline, and fast food. Tips are real money that if handled properly, it's, what I call it is, I call it small money. And if you learn how to handle small money, you will down the road be lucky enough to find yourself handling big money. But wealthy, and that's the Barber Like a Pirate program, really, at, at uh, 12 o'clock in 103B, just a couple doors down, we're going to focus a little more on the wealthy side of things. We'll touch on it a little in here. And wise, of course, is where I lump some of the mental health, some of the psychology of what we do in this business to really keep us healthy and on our game.